Goosebumps, scientifically termed pillorection, are tiny bumps that appear on our skin in response to cold, fear, or emotional stimuli. This phenomenon, which might seem inconsequential today, is a fascinating vestige of our evolutionary past. While it no longer serves the crucial survival functions it once did, it remains a complex and intriguing reaction. Let's dive into the video. The Anatomy of Goosebumps – Small Muscles with Big Impacts Goosebumps are caused by the contraction of microscopic muscles called erector pili, located at the base of each hair follicle. When these muscles contract, they pull the hair follicle upward, creating a raised bump on the skin's surface. This process is controlled by the sympathetic nervous system, which governs many of the body's automatic responses, such as heart rate, digestion, and pupil dilation. While the bumps may seem trivial, they represent a complex interplay between muscles, nerves, and the brain. This reflex mechanism, though subtle, reflects the intricate workings of human physiology. On our relatively hairless skin, it might appear redundant, but in mammals with dense fur, the outcome is far more dramatic. A survival mechanism for our hairier ancestors. In our ancient, hairier ancestors, goosebumps were vital for survival. When exposed to cold, raised hairs trapped insulating air near the skin, helping conserve body heat in harsh climates long before clothing existed. In threatening situations, puffing up their fur made them appear larger and more intimidating to predators or rivals, a clear advantage in the fight-or-flight response. This reflex, driven by adrenaline, was crucial in a world where survival hinged on quick reactions and adaptability. While modern humans have lost most of their body hair, rendering this mechanism largely unnecessary, the reflex persists. Today, goosebumps are more symbolic of our evolutionary past than a functional survival tool, serving as a fascinating reminder of our biological heritage. Emotional Goosebumps A reaction beyond the physical Goosebumps aren't just a reaction to physical stimuli like cold or fear, they also occur during intense emotional moments. This phenomenon, called emotional erection, can be triggered by awe, inspiration, nostalgia, or even sorrow. It's why you might get goosebumps while watching a powerful movie scene or listening to an emotionally charged piece of music. The connection between emotions and goosebumps lies in the brain's limbic system, particularly the amygdala, which processes emotional reactions. When stimulated, it activates the sympathetic nervous system, preparing the body for action, even if there's no real danger. This fascinating overlap between our emotional and physiological systems underscores how deeply interconnected they are, revealing that goosebumps are more than just a surface-level reaction. Why Music and Art Trigger Goosebumps Have you ever experienced goosebumps while listening to your favorite song? Researchers have found that music with sudden changes in volume, tempo, or harmony, like a crescendo, can activate the brain's reward system. This triggers a release of dopamine, the neurotransmitter associated with pleasure, anticipation, and reward. The heightened emotional state caused by music can result in the physical manifestation of goosebumps. Interestingly, not everyone experiences goosebumps from music. Studies suggest that individuals with higher emotional sensitivity or a stronger connection between their auditory and emotional brain centers are more likely to feel these chills. This unique ability to physically react to art and music highlights the depth of human emotional and sensory experiences. The Role of the Sympathetic Nervous System in Goosebumps The sympathetic nervous system, often referred to as the fight-or-flight system, plays a central role in triggering goosebumps. When faced with a sudden threat or stressor, this system springs into action, preparing the body to either confront or escape the danger. It releases adrenaline, which speeds up the heart rate, sharpens focus, and activates various physical responses, including goosebumps. This automatic system ensures that we can respond to emergencies without conscious effort. The erector pella muscles contracting to produce goosebumps is just one visible sign of the many processes occurring during heightened states of arousal. The Surprising Connection Between Goosebumps and Hair Growth 
Recent research has revealed an unexpected link between goosebumps and hair follicle health. Scientists at Harvard found that the same sympathetic nerves responsible for pillorection also interact with hair follicle stem cells. These nerves release norepinephrine, a neurotransmitter that stimulates the stem cells to regenerate hair follicles during prolonged exposure to cold. This discovery suggests that goosebumps might have once served a dual purpose, providing immediate insulation by raising hairs and stimulating new hair growth over time. Although this function is less relevant for modern humans, it highlights the evolutionary significance of this reflex for our ancestors who relied on their body hair for survival. Goosebumps in the Animal Kingdom Humans are not the only species that experience goosebumps. In fact, this reflex is far more pronounced in animals with thick fur or feathers. Cats, for instance, arch their backs and raise their fur when they feel threatened, making themselves appear larger and more intimidating to predators. Similarly, porcupines raise their quills as a defense mechanism, and birds fluff up their feathers to trap heat during cold weather. These behaviors, driven by the same pillorection reflex, show how crucial this response has been across different species. The persistence of this mechanism in humans, despite its diminished utility, speaks to its evolutionary importance. Medical Insights When Goosebumps Mean More While goosebumps are typically harmless, they can sometimes signal underlying medical conditions. For example, they may occur during seizures or as a symptom of temporal lobe epilepsy. In these cases, the brain's electrical activity triggers the sympathetic nervous system, resulting in goosebumps. Similarly, conditions like hyperhidrosis, excessive sweating, or withdrawal from substances like opioids can cause abnormal or persistent goosebumps. Understanding the medical contexts of goosebumps can provide valuable insights into the nervous system's functioning. While most cases are benign, chronic or unexplained goosebumps may warrant further investigation to rule out neurological or autonomic disorders. Goosebumps as an evolutionary relic. As humans evolved and shed much of their dense body hair, the practical benefits of goosebumps gradually diminished. In our fur-covered ancestors, this reflex served critical purposes, like providing insulation and creating an intimidating appearance. However, in modern humans, these tiny bumps have lost their original survival value and are now classified as a vestigial reflex, a fascinating leftover from a bygone era. Much like the appendix, which once aided in digesting tough plant material or wisdom teeth, which were essential for grinding raw diets, goosebumps remain a biological reminder of our evolutionary journey. Evolution typically phases out traits that no longer offer advantages, yet vestigial traits, such as goosebumps, can persist for millions of years if they do not pose a disadvantage. Although they may no longer keep us warm or scare off predators, Goosebumps stand as harmless relics, deeply tied to our ancestral roots and the challenges our species once faced. The Human Experience of Goosebumps Despite their reduced practical value, goosebumps remain a captivating aspect of the human experience. They are a rare physiological reaction that bridges our physical and emotional worlds, connecting us to both our evolutionary past and the emotions we feel in the present. Whether they appear during a cold breeze, a moment of intense fear, or while listening to a soul-stirring piece of music, goosebumps reveal the profound interplay between our bodies, minds, and environment. They serve as a reminder that even in an age of technological advancement, our biology retains traces of a simpler, survival-driven existence. Goosebumps are not merely a bodily reaction. They are symbols of the complexity and wonder of human life. The next time you experience this fleeting phenomenon, take a moment to reflect on how it connects you to the countless generations that came before, linking you to both the animal kingdom and the shared human condition. A small reflex with big implications. Goosebumps are much more than a quirky, fleeting reflex. They represent a remarkable narrative of human evolution. They reflect a time when survival depended on insulating body heat and fending off predators and remind us of how far we've come as a species.
Yet their persistence also highlights the intricate ways our biology continues to carry echoes of the past. While their functional purpose has largely faded, goosebumps remain a window into the rich tapestry of human history, blending survival instincts, emotional depth, and neural complexity. From ancient tools of protection to modern markers of awe and inspiration, goosebumps tell a timeless story of adaptation, resilience, and the interconnectedness of body and mind. They may be small and seemingly insignificant, but their implications are vast, linking us to both our distant ancestors and the profound emotions that define us today. Thanks for sticking around and diving into the fascinating world of goosebumps with me. If you love this journey through our evolutionary quirks, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. You don't want to miss the next mind-blowing mystery we unravel. Stay curious, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next one.